The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for this 10 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update on this 30th day, Tuesday, August. We're looking at the Dow down, down 30 at 32,070. Earlier on, I wasn't that happy to see it. The futures were actually running very strongly. They were weak uh, during the evening, and then as we got into the very early morning, and I did have a Chapman Wave Chin Gauge reading, which said that within one to two sessions, there should be a pretty good uh, S&P futures rally that will help the market. Well, it did that. Now we're getting the true market because the market yesterday should have closed uh, quite a bit higher instead of closed lower. So this is still in the basing area after that very sharp sell-off on Friday. Um, normally, you'd see about a three to 400-point uh, give back after that 1,000-point slide, just a natural sequence. Uh, we haven't really had that yet. So this is a very tentative moment because we're looking at the S&P, uh, which also had a very good rally early, earlier on. Went to 4,044, now at 4,026. Not bad, it's down four points. Uh, like the Dow, it had a little doji tiny plus sign candle, like a doji candle yesterday. Really important that the uh, 4,065 4, area or higher uh, gets hit in the next two days. We're looking at the QQQ, the NDX 100. Same thing, it's actually holding a little bit better. It's just down 10 cents at 304.24. Uh, it almost got to yesterday's high. We're going to be watching this. It needs to climb quite sharp into the 307.80, 308.30 area uh, sometime between today and tomorrow. Let's look at the IWM. That's the Russell 2000. Russell 2000, ugly because it went below yesterday's low. It is down 91 cents at 186. It's really been struggling in a way. The chart pattern is a little bit better uh, with that weekly chart holding the uh, nine period moving average, but we need a lot more strength to come. Looking at GC, that's the gold coin, uh, the gold uh, contract down seven at 1742. It had a big doji candle yesterday. It's really kind of struggling, but this is going to be interesting. I'll talk a little bit, I had a couple of questions about it uh, from different uh, people that are looking at the dollar, uh, saying, is this a little bit toppy? Well, it's in a leg C, maybe making a C at a new recovery high yesterday. We'll talk about that, but also we need to talk about the TLT, which is trying to rally here, it's up just 47 cents, and crude oil. I'll be back in a moment, crude oil sharply lower. Basil Chapman coming back for the Tiger Technician's Hour, and check out my opening call newsletter. <laughs> 